Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Aquamax Kones DCQ skimmer to an Apex controller. All right, in order to connect your skimmer to an Apex controller, you're gonna need the cable. For this, I'm using this Kessel Control Type 1 cable for Neptune System controllers, which has a 1 8 male stereo to an RJ45 connection. If you have an Apex Junior or an Apex EL, you're gonna need the VDM module in order to connect the skimmer controller to the Apex system. If you have an Apex or an Apex Classic controller, you're not gonna need the VDM module. You may be wondering why would I want to connect my skimmer to my Apex system using a 0 to 10 volt connection when I already have my skimmer connected to my Apex using one of the outlets on the energy bar. First of all, I will be able to release one of those outlets on my energy bar and I can use that outlet for other connections to other equipment. In my case, my energy bar is already full so that gives me one more slot I can use for something else. Connecting my skimmer to my Apex system using the 0 to 10 volt connection, it will also allow me to control the percentage of power that my pump is running at. I can still do feed mode, turn it on and off for maintenance or water changes from my Apex Fusion app, but that doesn't really change. But just the fact that I can release that outlet and I can still monitor and program my skimmer pump, it makes it really handy. All right, here we are on Apex Fusion, and the next step we're gonna do is create a flow profile. We're gonna click on this gear icon at the top, and then we're gonna select this folder icon, and we're gonna use the profile one, PF1. And in this case, I'm gonna rename it to const flow. For constant flow and we're gonna leave these two options on check we're gonna leave zero seconds for initial off time 60 seconds for on time 60 seconds for off time then 45% minimum intensity and 45% maximum intensity with this what we're doing is we're telling Apex Fusion that the equipment connected on this line or on this profile is going to be running 60 seconds on 60 seconds off. The reason we do that is because profiles are available for weight pumps or any pump that you're going to be alternating flows but we're going to use it to control our skimmer. So we're gonna tell it to run it for 60 seconds on for 60 seconds off, and that's gonna make it constant flow. I have been testing my skimmer and it works really well with 45% on the flow profile. So that's why I selected 45. You may need to play around with this number to find out what percentage you want to program your skimmer at. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and save the profile and we're gonna go back to the dashboard now that we have configured that profile or that flow profile since we're already connected the cable to the apex or to the VDM module and to the skimmer controller now we're going to see some options available here for variable speed. Depending on how many modules you have or which apex you have, you may see one 
uh, or two or you know, up to four or even more. If you don't see this already in your dashboard, you may need to unlock the dashboard and you will find them located somewhere up here. Then you can just drag and drop those um, outlets into your dashboard and then close it. Okay, now we're gonna find out which one is controlling the skimmer. So what you wanna do is, is start turning them on and off until you find the one that is turning on your skimmer. In this case, my skimmer is controlled under variable speed one underscore seven underscore two. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear icon. I'm gonna rename this to a skimmer CTRL, a skimmer control. And now we're gonna start making some codes to configure the skimmer. We're gonna say if time zero 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 one to twenty three fifty nine so twenty four hours a day then const flow. So we're calling that flow profile to run with, with this configuration. So this is a skimmer and I want to have a feed mode. I'm gonna go ahead and add the code line for feed mode. And I'm gonna give it 15 minutes, then off, and then a defer of five minutes. then on so right here again we're telling apex fusion that when this output configuration or when this output is on then if it's between minute one or minute 2350 uh, hour 2359 then use constant flow profile then we have a feed mode of 15 minutes and then we have a differential of five minutes and that what it does is my skimmer is going to wait five minutes to turn on after feed a it's over i'm going to go ahead and save this configuration and that's it I'm gonna go back to dashboard. I'm going to refresh my screen. And then I'm gonna to go to auto. And this is gonna turn into 44%. Um, usually it says 44%, even though we selected 45% for this outlet or for this variable speed outlet, it always brings it down 1%. I'm not too sure why, but that's what it does. It's now showing 44%. That's the intensity the skimmer is running at right now. And it took a couple minutes to refresh and read the configuration after programming the variable speed outlet. But once it's um, configured, then you can turn it on and off anytime. You can do the feed mode. And again, you can now release one of your outlets on your Apex. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit on the bell button so that you can receive a notification when I put up more videos like this. Thank you for watching.